spotter is a, I think, a huge role on, on a team. And, you know, you're trying to clear somebody by inches and you can make that mistake pretty quick. I mean, it, and it falls on you. Half back, three back, two back, 45, right now, right now, by there. Now, one back, no one in front. Ready, ready, go here. Today's uh, qualifying day. It's not a big day for me, but uh, Cliff and all the guys like me to be up top. Just let them know what's going on throughout the time and when cars are rolling off pit road and everything. Gives us an opportunity to do a radio check and make sure everything's good before the big day tomorrow. Test one, two, one, two, three, you got me? I got you. One, two, three, you got me? Yeah, test four, I got you. After qualifying, I have the ARCA race uh, later this afternoon, and then after that, the Xfinity race. We're on our way to go to cats to get some breakfast. I really don't get a lunch break later today to get a little food in me. So uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm excited. It's Talladega. I was happy when I found out about him. You know, a younger guy, younger than I am, hungry. You know, it's nice when you give somebody young an opportunity like that because they want to make the most out of it. Tyler Mon is uh, fantastic to work with. He puts a lot of time in behind the scenes, um, has a great energy. He's a fun guy to be around. He's so calm and cool and collected, very concise with his communication and his delivery. Wreck it behind you, wreck it behind you. Caution's out, caution's out, caution's out, you're fine. When you have confidence, the driver has confidence in you. If I say clear, he's gonna go. He's not gonna hesitate. If I say clear and you hesitate for a second, not even a second, half second, you lose that spot. Talladega was big, you know, Super Speedways is really huge for us. We don't practice at Talladega, we kind of just qualify and line up, so you do a lot more studying and, and how the runs are working there. These right here, most important thing at Talladega Super Speedway. We use these probably, I would say probably 90% of the Well, qualifying just in it. Now it's go time for tomorrow. As a kid, Terry Labonte was my favorite driver, and now spotting for the five is kind of surreal, and um, it means a lot to me. It's a lot of grind. I'm very happy for what I get to do, but uh, it takes a lot of wear and tear on you. I have a wife at home. She supports me. You know, you're traveling everywhere. You're always on an airplane, but I love it. I think I was born to do this. Racing was in my blood. I think it was in my family, so I get to do my dream job. So when I wake up and have to travel, it's not, a big deal to me because it's what I love to do. The role of the spotter has changed over the years with the behind the scenes contribution to the program that we build every week. Before the race, after the race, he'll come in uh, to the, the transporter with us and meet with myself and Kyle and our engineers. There's a level of some pretty high level detail that, that spotters probably haven't always been involved in, but now they are. And then when it's time to get the car out to the grid, that's kind of the, the cue. Tyler goes and, and grabs a bite to eat, heads up to the spotter stand. Not too often do we get to come across the racetrack and uh, get a look at it before, but this is one of the places we do. We roll off night today, so I think uh, we'll have a good shot. The biggest thing is, is making it all 500 miles here. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Good, good. Uh, if you're afraid of heights, this probably ain't the place you want to be. Welcome to the spotter stand. Best view in the house right here. I run four radios total. I have one that talks to Kyle and Cliff. I also have a listen radio, so I listen to myself. If something happens to my channel one, I know that something's wrong because I can't hear myself. I have a channel two that it's just me and Cliff that can talk and Kyle can't hear that. And then I run a four channel for NASCAR. Uh, so they, you know, tell us when the cautions are out, tell us the lineups, tell us, you know, when pit roads open and things like that. Let's go, time. Thank you to Valvoline, hittercars.com, five team. We've got 500 miles today in Talladega. Let's roll. Fire and Ready, 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 go, go, go. I'll roll in here. I'll roll in. Still one in front, one out back. The race was pretty straightforward for what super speedway racing is like these days in the next gen car. A lot of fuel saving stuff throughout the race, really the whole race, and the Chevys did a really good job. We uh, all got to be up front and, and you know, lead to the end of that stage. Push when you get there, come to the stage checker. 22 and then we're gonna try to go up. Go up, go up here, you're good, stage checker. 
I would say it was calm for the most part. I, I felt like it was. You know, the guys went two by two the whole time. Nothing really got out of question. But you're always on your feet there because you don't know when the moves are going to really start coming. Still two by two. Still one off you to the four. Half in front. Just keep your pace up what you're doing here. The third lane won't get to us. You know, he's just kind of steering me clear of trouble and, and let me know kind of what's going on around me, kind of painting a picture for what the race looks like and constant communication to me. Super Speedways, it's high level, high volume. You gotta be quick on your feet. There's a lot of different talking at a Super Speedway. Probably by the end of it, he's probably tired of listening to me uh, because I'm nonstop on the radio with him. One back up top, 16 with a run now, half back. Leader's 24, to his top. Has a 20 through to your outside, eight lined up right behind you, 17, one out back up top. Still under three wide bottom, all clear, all clear. Two back to the nine, rolling middle lane. Still there, quarter, all clear, take it. All the spotters work together to make sure that at the end we had them lined up, which at the end of it we did. And we, we were in a good position, you know, we were lined up. We had Kyle Bush behind us and and Noah was leading the pack, you know, and we had everybody where we needed level. to have them. Overtime, green, white, checkered flag. Here we go. The green is in the air, and Noah Gregson will get the jump. Pushing aggressive here, still pushing. Look out, Noah Gregson gets hit. He's head on into the wall in turn number one. Still pushing, wrecking. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Kyle Larson spins. Oh, he gets tattooed. A heavy T-bone hit involving Ryan Priest and Kyle Larson. It's heartbreaking, I guess. That's that's one word for it. It's heartbreaking. I mean, you line yourself up all day long for 500 miles, and something like that happens. It's frustrating. It pisses you off. You know, they'll ask if I'm okay, and um, usually once they hear back from me, you know, it kind of goes silent. Because after that, I mean, I'm unplugging anyways and starting to work my way out of the car. I kept my radio on pretty much the whole way to the end just to know that he made it out of the infield care center okay. Can I get an update? Tyler, just his personality is fun to be a part of because he does get a little emotional in what you would expect in some of these situations. I hadn't even finished crashing yet. Like, I hadn't even gotten hit yet. And Tyler's like, every time or whatever. God damn it, dude, every time. I'm like, hang on, I'm, I'm still crashing. I'm about to get hit. And thankfully, you know, when I came back across the track uh, and the 41 hit me, it wasn't um, any worse than it was. They got it on the record, bringing it back. I'm going to hop off here. It's heartbreaking, yes, but this five team never quits, and I think that's the key to success. Cliff and all the engineers and everybody in there, they work their tails off. That's why we've been running so good. Flag right here, man. Hell of a job. Go get you a grandfather clock. Hell yeah, Mark, little baby. We challenge for every race win in my eyes this year, so that gives us a lot of confidence, and you can shake off the bad results. I'm very strong believer that even if we have a bad race. The momentum don't stop here. We're here to win races. We're here to run good. It don't matter where you go. You want to win. You want to run good. And uh, that's the mindset we have. Three, five.